guys, I am back with the next episode of the Umbrella Academy. I absolutely loved last episode. I especially loved the ending with the music in, in Swedish because the Swedes and I just really loved it. And then showing all the individuals, Allison's going to tell her husband the truth. Vanya tried to leave with Sissy or like confess her feelings for Sissy. It didn't go well, unfortunately. Klaus has gone back to his cult and he did not seem happy about it. Um, but I am interested in that girl Ben was staring at. I think he might have a thing for someone in Klaus's cult. And I think that's interesting. You know, he said he had business in San Francisco. So yeah. And also Luther and Diego got an invitation to go to see the monocle. So I'm definitely excited to see uh, how that's going to go. Um, we had a lot of sibling moments last episode that I absolutely loved between Diego and Luther, between Klaus and Vanya and Allison talking about love and relationships. Uh, I see parallels between Luther and Diego, Luther's fixation on the moon last season in the apocalypse, and this season Diego's fixation with Kennedy and his assassination, and maybe thinking that's going to trigger the apocalypse and stuff like that. So definitely interested in seeing what's going to happen with that. Uh, Lila and the Handler had a busy episode. They set up a trap for the Swedes and blamed it on Diego. They lost their brother. Again, the end scene was beautiful They're at their brother's funeral. I absolutely loved that. We also got a hint of a little bit, like, of more emotion for... We also got a hint at, like, emotion in their characters. Because so far we've seen them, they haven't really said anything... I don't think they've said a word and they just didn't interact or they interacted with each other but like they didn't really do much other than try to kill our people but last episode we saw a picture of them with I'm guessing their mom and we saw one of them scream as they were giving their brother his send-off and everything and it adds emotions to them and it just shows us that they cared for each other and that they're gonna try to get revenge and that's gonna be aimed towards Diego because the handler set it up to be so and Lila also helped. Lila and Five had a fight which was cool and then the handler revealed herself and I don't remember exactly what they talked about but yeah that was interesting and yeah, I'm definitely excited. Uh, they've all, well, Vanya's been filled in on what's going on. Klaus has also been filled in that the end of the world is coming again. And he has returned to his cult. He also lied saying that Ben didn't time travel with him. And I don't know why. I love Ben. And Ben has a moment where he's like, I missed all you guys. Like he misses his siblings. And they all got to get together. And that was great. The Umbrella Academy back together, even if it was just for a little bit before they all went their separate ways. But I think they're going to come back and reform again. And just, I was so mad because Klaus is like, Ben's not here. I'm like, Ben probably wants to say something to his siblings. Let him. And we also got at the beginning of the episode, the backstory of like the person who their mom was modeled after, Grace, and her relationship with baby Pogo and the monocle. And I found that very interesting because the monocle was almost like a dad to Pogo and cared about Pogo more than he seemed to care for the children he adopted. We also got Luther saying that he did talk to their dad and their dad basically insulted him and then stated that he hated kids. So I guess he prefers uh, apes to children. And I'm really excited to see what's going to happen this episode, especially with Allison telling her husband everything and also with the monocle's invitation for them to go have a light supper, which is the title of this episode. So I am definitely super excited to watch this and if you guys want early access to reactions, link to the Patreon will be down below. But please, please remember this is not market substitute. Please support the original content on Netflix. And with that said, let's get started. This is my reaction to The Umbrella Academy Season 2, Episode 6, A Light Supper. Backstory, Allison's backstory, of what she's been up to, I think she had a year in this timeline. 1961. Aren't they in 63? So she's had like two years. Oh, I'm sure we're going to see her hardships with being a person of color in the 60s. You were the fag. Oh, beat the shit out of them. Please beat the shit out of them. You boys must be lost. Oh, I love her. Oh, poor Allison, and she can't talk in either. She said she couldn't talk for like a year. It was going to be this is where she meets Ray. You got no What's your name? Did you talk now? Allison. Oh, they're still... She's your daughter. Yes, and she's my only one, so I'd appreciate if you didn't crush your windpipe. I am so going to enjoy killing you Saturday. <laughs> Where you come in. No. <gasps> no, it isn't. I distinctly remember you telling me that that apocalypse had to happen. Yeah. That it was supposed to happen. I don't trust her. 
What about the board of directors? Hmm? Well, nobody knows who they are. Correct. The Majestic Twelve. Well, once every fiscal quarter, they get together. You yeah. know where it's going to be, don't you? Hmm. I don't know. I need some time to think about it. Good. Bye. I think we should go. Of all people, you should hate Dad the most. Come on. Can he really be that bad? Yeah. Okay. He isolated you, kept you hopped up on pills, and he brainwashed you into thinking you had no powers. Daddy's going to play all his little mind games on us, turn us all against each other. You watch. We're not 12 anymore. All right, we're grown-ass men and women. He got lots hey. of problems, though. We can handle him. You want to know what's different this time? I almost know. You got me. We go in there as a united front. No more number one, number two bullshit. Now on, it's team zero. Team zero? <laughs> no numbers. Are they all going to go, or is it just these three? Just give him a fizz bump. You know what can happen to cults when things go to side. Order. First off, it's not a cult. <laughs> it's All right. He still has to go back to his dog so tags. Our families to go back to. Oh. Jill gave up an Albright scholarship to Berkeley to follow you around the world. Jill. Her parents won't even talk to her. Dies to get lost. <laughs> Friends in love. She gave up her entire future for you. Maybe she freed herself from the prison of the American education system and decided to stay. They're not just <laughs> scarves. You can... All right, fine. Thank you. Spend in love. I'm dying. I love it. My name is Klaus and I'm an alcoholic. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong thing. I'm a fraud. I've been lying to all of you from, oh, from the start. <laughs> Me too. Oh. I, I'm a fraud too. I, I'm a fraud to myself. But your scriptures say as he has scripture. That's not scripture. Is it song lyrics? It's a song lyric by Disco Diva. And I don't know what I'm doing up here. I, I... It's gonna be okay. I understand. Our own fraudulence. Only then can we experience oh God. true. Oh no 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 no! I too am a fraud. I am a fraud. I too am a fraud. Dude, I tried. He did try. They just believe. She told. So there was a black president. We've been through this. And you have powers. Prove it. Okay, it is not just some parlor trick. There is a cost. Okay, so Wonder Woman's got powers, but nobody can see. Yo, what you gonna do? Color folks can't. Try on the merchandise. Chisel. I heard a rumor that you let him try on anything in the store. I hope he doesn't try to get her to use her powers that much. Did they pay for anything? Why don't you do this all the time? I mean, you think of everything that we could accomplish for the movement. Oh, don't get sucked into the power. It's too much. I was awake before I called the police. I heard a rumor that you shut your damn mouth. Coffee. Black. Oh no, like, I get what she's doing, but it's dangerous. More. I was just stopping her. <laughs> That's why she doesn't. That's why she can't use it too much. It takes control of her, I guess. Who's playing Mingo? Mario says from the Rose. You want to ask me to kill the board? Because they have much bigger plans. Oh, board. they want to kill the board. Yeah, they... What about Diego? Is he part of your little scapegoat plan? Yeah. What's wrong? You done sweet on him? Don't be saying. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the bracelet you're wearing around your wrist, that certainly isn't very subtle. Hey, this is a trophy. Like for your mark, it's so cliche. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd kill him if I asked you to? You hesitate. No, I didn't. She cares for Diego. <laughs> you need serious help. <sighs> Klaus. Oh, without me, you'd be dead in a ditch somewhere. I just realized who you sound like. Who? Oh, Dad? Ooh. Don't say that. Finally turned into oh. a father. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, Dave! We've caught you in the middle of a prayer. <laughs> Jill. But, <gasps> their loves. Oh my god, is Dave gonna join his cult? Did you use it on me? No. Of course not. But if you had, would I even know? Where did that come from? <gasps> Invitation. So they're all invited. I'm sorry for the other days. Don't worry about it. It's not the kind of guy I am. Yeah, I know. How did you know all that stuff? Oh, that's easy. I'm a prophet. <laughs> it's all right there in the pamphlet. <laughs> this stuff isn't real. Oh, then how come I know everything about you? 
Yeah, you know, like what? Klaus. What else? What knew else? so much what about else? Dave. What they else? really loved each other. Completion. I know that sometimes you feel like an outsider in your own family. You hope that being a soldier will prove something to them. But that's not going to work, and you're going to end up wishing that you did. You have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Oh. You're joining the military because it's the right, right thing to do. You never come off that hill, Dave. Look, look, look. <gasps> His dog tags. Oh my god. You're all I have left of you. Huh. He had them all this time and he's trying to see me. This is what I signed up for. Don't. I've already enlisted. <gasps> That's not supposed to happen yet. The other day after I saw you, oh, no. he made me sign up. I ship out next week. Oh no. What? He changed so the save these for the next dumb kid you're trying to recruit. They can come back. Oh no. He changed the timeline he got him to enlist earlier. Is this gonna change his assignment or like Just put on the cut out of there near and then huh? Oh my god. This poor dude. Don't hurt the little one with the kids. She's trying to get Diego killed. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Diego, Lisa, Rafania, and Allison. Oh, they're all there. Yeah. Lisa. They're losers. Sorry. Nervous. <laughs> oh my god. I'll do the talking, okay? I've got a few questions for him myself. Right, we don't want to scare him off. Whoever has got this conch strong gets to talk. We're all teams here. Uh, Diego, we don't have the conch. <laughs> oh god. Not only have you on numerous occasions called me... Dad. <laughs> hey, Pop, how's it hanging? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Your kids. We're your children. <laughs> From the future. <laughs> 1989. Why on earth would I adopt six? Seven. One of us is dead. Dead, yes. Uh, but I'm here close. Yeah, but tell them I'm here. Ben you wants to be it. It. We all have special abilities. I'm a stickler for a pesky little thing called evidence. Show me. Everybody wants to see powers all of a sudden. We're not <laughs> circus animals. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing notes. What are you writing? You are zero for two, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, can rumor anyone to do anything? Except she never uses it. I heard a rumor. You punched yourself in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Evidence. And you? Uh, maybe we don't take Banya for a test. Oh, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I can handle it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. She did a good job controlling it, though. You were recently hospitalized. You still appear to be suffering from delusions of grandeur and acute paranoia. That's you. Single-handedly unearthed my nefarious plot. Is that what you want to hear? Sad reality is that no. you're a desperate man, tragically unaware of his own insignificance, desperately clinging to his own ineffectual reason. Oh. You. Mm. Your dad's such an asshole. The end of the world. You're the special one, don't you? Why don't you band together and do something about it? Screw it. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Ben. I'm Ben. Oh. oh. He can possess him. Oh. Look at what you did to me. Look at it. Oh, they're all gonna break down. Check, please. Uh, well, that didn't go well. That went as well as any Hargreaves family function. Uh, I feel so violated. You had no right to possess me. Oh, possession is a strong word. I think that's the first time you've ever stood up to Dad. Yeah. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Dago's stutter always gets me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, Grace. And Sissy. How did you find me? Your boyfriend isn't the nice guy you think he is. 
The other night you quoted Homer. Why? It was Greek. You forced us all to learn it as kids. The original Greek, no less. I want to be able to read Homer in Greek. That'd be amazing. World's end. We can do something about this one. Man's greatest flaw. The illusion of control. I need your help. Interesting. What do you know about time travel? I know it's akin to descending blindly into the depths of freezing waters and reappearing as an acorn. Start small. Seconds. I need a bit more time for what I'm trying to accomplish. So much can change in a matter of yeah, seconds. Yeah, it's true. You gave me such a hard time as a kid. I didn't know any better. No skin off my teeth, old man. <sighs> This is so weird. Oh no, they're gonna be after Diego. They might get Elliot. I like Elliot though. I hope he doesn't die. The cat. Oh, I hope they don't kill him. <sighs> He knows someone's there. Oh! Oh, he's gonna try to get him. Oh no, they're gonna kill him! Oh no. Oh, stop. At least they haven't killed him yet. Some of us don't get to have the life we want. Somewhere we can be safe. Where? I don't know yet. The future. I just need you to trust me. You. <laughs> so are they gonna run away together? It's gonna be everything as usual until we're ready. No, they're gonna run away together. But first, you have to stop the end of the world, or else you're not gonna get very far. Oh no! Are you? Oh my God! You drove by your house to have this conversation, or did he follow you? Oh no! Oh no! Are they gonna find Elliot dead, or are the Swedes gonna be there? Oh no! Are they still there? Like oh god! Oh, he's dead! Oh no! They tortured before they killed him. Oh no! What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Olga for Olga, eye for an eye. I'm guessing. Oh my God! They killed Elliot. I take out the board. You get me and my family home. I'm in. Oh no. Wisconsin. Oh my God! I can't believe they killed Elliot. I liked him. Okay, I think I can watch one more episode before bed, before the sun comes out, basically. Okay, so this was a very interesting episode. I feel like it was very emotional, especially for the group uh, having to face their dad, because oh god, he just has a way of getting to all of them, and it's understandable because they've gone through so much. They have, they just have so much issues because of how they were raised. And just problems with their dad. Like obviously, their dad should have never had kids. I'm guessing this is what makes him have kids. Um, but then it's like, what before made him adopt the kids? If like you know, timeline stuff. We started the episode by seeing Allison's time in the time period they're in, how everything happened, how she met her husband, and later we saw her use her powers. And she kind of lost control for a bit, and her husband like asked her if she had used the powers on him, and she said no, but he wouldn't know if she did. So that was interesting. I wonder what's gonna happen with them, especially since she told him everything. Like what's gonna happen in the future and all of that. We also had Five and the Handler talk, and they have made a deal. The Handler wants Five to kill the board of directors of the commission. Uh, oh, I just noticed that's what the address was where they're going to meet. She wants him to kill them and that way she can take charge. He's going to kind of be a scapegoat. He's going to be a scapegoat for her. And because of the handler's interference with the Swedes, the Swedes think Diego is responsible for their brother's death and they're after him and they want an eye for an eye. So... Yeah, that's not good. I don't want Diego to die. For some reason, he's my favorite out of all of them. I think oh, actually Klaus. I don't know. I really like Diego. Um, maybe it's just because like I love his powers. Like that's the power I would choose to have. 
And I don't know, there are moments where he's my favorite. Um, I, just like when he gets emotional, his stutter, his bond with his mom. I just really liked his character last season and I like it this season too. Although he is a little fixated on stopping Kennedy and being right. Like, they all have issues. I also, like, my other favorite character, I guess, if I had to put them, I don't, I couldn't rank them, not really, like, I just couldn't, but Klaus is also one of my favorites. I tried ranking last season, and it, it was a mess for me. Um, I can't rank them. I'm not doing it this season. Maybe at the end, but Klaus is also one of my favorites, uh, and Ben, of course. So, their talk with their dad, they all went, and it didn't go well, just a regular Harry Greaves reunion, I guess, as one of them said. And yeah, um, they showed the powers. They all, I don't know. It just, it was a mess, of course. Um, ben actually tried to possess Klaus for a while there. And he did it a little bit. He said, I'm Ben, kind of, to their dad. And... I guess Ben has a lot of unresolved issues with their dad too. I mean, it was on a mission, I guess, that he died and he also grew up in that toxic environment with all of them. So he probably has some things he wants to say to their his dad. Uh, we also got to meet Jill, the girl that Ben likes. I'm interested in that because that's so cute. We also got to see Dave again and I was hoping he was going to try to join Klaus's cult I guess. I mean not that you should join a cult but you know save him from the war. Klaus actually changed the timeline because Dave's uncle forced him to enlist earlier than he had originally planned. Now I don't know if that's going to change anything in the timeline with Dave's death. Um, maybe? I don't know. I want him to live Klaus even showed him his dog tags and everything, and oh, my heart. Um, I love them, and I want them to be happy together. Um, I don't know, maybe Klaus somehow, like, just somehow Dave lives and all of that. Let's see what else. Diego then, after the horrible meeting with their dad, Diego went and talked to Grace and let her know what Hargreaves was planning. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm liking Grace she, I don't know, she loves Pogo, uh, she's dating Reginald, which is weird, just because, you know, he makes a robot in her image to raise the children, but I guess, like, it makes sense because the person he knew as Grace before he made the robot was a mother figure to Pogo. I still think the monocle was a better dad to Pogo than he was to any of the kids of the Umbrella Academy. Uh, Klaus actually tried to admit to his cult that he's a fraud, it did not go over well, uh, ben being a little protective of her, Jill is her name, he said like she gave up a scholarship and all of that and you know he tried to get Klaus to do the right thing and Klaus did try, it just didn't go the right way. Um, ben and Klaus's interaction I always find super interesting and I just wish the others knew he was there because he wants them to know he's there, he misses his family and he loves them so I, I want them to know that he's there. <laughs> uh, yeah and then uh, five actually talked to their dad. They had a conversation. Their dad's such an asshole. He's like, well, you guys are superheroes. Go stop it yourselves. Like, he has his own agenda. He doesn't really care. And he had an interesting conversation with Five by revealing that he was the oldest and kind of apologizing for giving him such a hard time when they were kids. I mean, Five's relationship with the monocle, although messed up like the rest of them, he did have less time with him. And he replaced the toxic environment of their family with the toxic environment of being isolated with no one in the apocalypse. So he's slightly different from the rest. I mean, they're all different in their own ways, but he had at 14, like he had less time being with the monocle than the rest of them. And when they all got home, well, well when Diego and Luther got home, Elliot has been killed. The Swedes tortured him. Uh, trying to figure out where Diego was. I don't know if he knew, but if he did, he did not give them up. I didn't want him to die. I liked his character. He was interesting, and he kind of was a big help in bringing the Umbrella Academy back together, and damn, it just sucks that he's dead. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there'll be a, a episode like last season where they change time again. Who knows, but definitely excited to see what's going to happen next.
And I'm going to go watch the next episode right now. Super excited. So bye, guys. If you guys want early access to reactions, link to the Patreon will be down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I will see you next week for the next episode of the Umbrella Academy.